Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from FreeGameMan.com. You can also visit me on my personal site at RodneyReynolds.com. This next Q&A video is about Fraps. If you do not know what Fraps is, you're probably not a gamer. It is basically a way of recording a game. Load it up, we'll show you the frame rate, you can capture, you can record the game when you're playing it. Cool stuff, no doubt. But what about you load it up and, well, it just kills your frame rate and that can happen. Why does it happen though? What's the solution to that? Well, before I get into answering this question, I would like to show you something. This is very special, at least my daughter thought it was, and you'll get a kick out of it. She did this from scratch. It's a pig. Apparently it's for me. She taped the ears on, nice long eyelashes, rosy cheeks, nice big fat double chin there. I don't know, but there you have it. Pigman. <laughs> Let's get to answering this question. So what's slowing down fraps possibly? Fraps relies basically on two different things. Of course, you want a system that doesn't have a bottleneck in it. Like for example, if you have a fast video card, fast motherboard, uh, fast uh, everything else, and your hard drive is slow, doesn't make any sense. Everything in your system has to be even Steven. So what could be the problem? The problem is more than likely uh, if you have low, low frame rates when you load up Fraps, more than likely it is either your CPU or your hard drive. Or you're probably recording fraps on the same drive that your game and your operating system and everything else is on. The other option, the, the cheapest solution would be to try and record um, on fraps on another drive. You know, get another drive and see what happens. If that doesn't work, you can RAID zero the really good drives together. You could also get a solid state drive. Of course, you need a decent CPU to start with. If you're, you know, if everything in your system is all, you know, crap and it just, you know, you just, if you can just barely play games on it as it is, you know what, perhaps it's just not going to work for you. It's just not. Um, so you need to upgrade your CPU possibly. Try the uh, not, uh, the other hard drive, another hard drive first, adding another hard drive, see how that works. If you can, maybe you have an extra one kicking around. And when you get a hard drive out of the way, don't get something that is like green. These are the slowest. They're green. Nothing green is fast. So, um, yeah. So, uh, get something that's blue or black and RAID zero them or go with a solid state drive if you're thinking about doing fraps and getting any kind of decent frame rates. Wait, 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 wait. What the, what the, what the, oh, the picky man, the picky man. Okay, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. You can visit me on rodneyreynolds.com. Remember, if you have a question for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com. I got so, so sick and tired of saying that every single day, but I got to. Uh, you can also email me if you want to. Really, you don't have to. At techquestions at 3dgameman.com. It's just more work for me, but I'll, I'll, I'll answer it.